afternoon everyone, that's staff, students and parents at Chauncey School. It's 2pm on Wednesday the 6th of January 2021 and I have just finished listening to the Secretary of State for Education explaining what's going to happen in schools as far as he knows at the moment. As far as we know at the moment there are some fantastic Zoom lessons going on throughout the school and to start by talking about years seven, eight and nine. There's quality work being done already. I've had four parents contact me and said they've joined in or sat in the room because they wish they were back in school. We're not perfect. It is impossible to teach the same quality on a Zoom lesson as in the classroom, but I'm sure you've all seen just how good our teachers are in the classroom. We're gonna do everything we can Obviously we can't teach technology and food and PE and art in the same way, but there will be challenges in each of these areas. Mr. Walton will be putting the cook of the week and the artists of the week and the best technology people of the month all on Facebook and let's keep celebrating their success. Teachers will be giving bronze, gold and silver awards as usual. And the Chauncey Pupil Passport will go ahead. So we're very positive about this. The car park's full in school, but children aren't to come in because it's not safe. That's why schools were closed. And we will not open at Chauncey School until I consider it safe to do so. I'm not putting your kids at risk. I'm not putting the staff at risk. And I've got a limited number of years left anyway, so I'm not putting myself at risk. On the Zoom lessons, we've, we've got some kids not turning up, not managing to get in onto online. We're contacting them and if they are free school meal kids and they were having computer problems, we may be able to help. I'm afraid there is no entitlement across the school for computers. We do not have 1200 computers, regardless of what Mr. Williamson said. So please don't ask us for a computer if you do not already qualify as a free school meals family. And that's you know who you are. Uh, we may be able to help in extreme circumstances, but uh, contact Mr. Walton if it's anything about computer stuff. Please don't contact him about everything. Now, we've uh, got a very, very good turnout. We have had some naughty children who are trying to be silly and disrupt the learning of others, and they will be thrown out of the Zoom sessions. And if they continue to do it, there will be no Zoom lessons at all, and they will get some worksheets emailed to them. So years seven, eight and nine, you were brilliant in September to Christmas. Carry on being brilliant. Now, I'm going to go on to the vocational students in years 10 to 13 who are expecting to do revision sessions for vocational exams in the next week or so. We are going ahead. It is voluntary now for schools. That was announced last night, but we are going ahead because we think that the students are in the best prepared state now and we don't know what happens if they don't do the exam. What we think may happen, what has been hinted, is they'll be able to do the exam in the summer. We want to give you every opportunity to do those exams now and to excel now. So starting this Friday, we've got 22 technology people coming in, students, to do the revision that is so necessary for the exams that are early next week. So please come. If you decide you can't come, I won't be able to put an alternative provision on. If you are ill, you must let us know in the usual way. So that's the vocational courses. Now for everybody else, including everybody doing vocational courses who's also doing GCSE and A-levels, there are no GCSEs and A-level exams at the moment going to take place in the summer. That doesn't mean there are no exams. I know I said there were no exams. That doesn't mean there are no exams. They might put on English and maths exams. They might not. They might put on history exams. Nobody knows. I have been telling you in videos and assemblies since way back in March that there is almost certainly going to be a need for teacher assessment of your work. So everything you do years 10 to 13 could well count for your final grade. I'm right, there is going to be assessment of the work you have done and that includes assessment of the work you do from now until we're told to stop. So any assessments you are being set, work your hardest 
Do your very, very best and know that your teachers will fight for you to get the grades that your reviews show that you deserve. In terms of reviews, we are doing those as normal. So the first one, Year 7, is online at the moment and there's a parents' evening in a couple of weeks' time for Year 7. They'll be going ahead online and parents all appreciated that greatly. So the Zoom lessons for Years 10 to 13 and the assignments being set are absolutely fantastically important. I want to have a word about the parent support here. If you listen to me on Radio Three Counties or Three Counties Radio, where I am at 10 past seven tomorrow morning, I have been known to scream at the suggestion that I teach my young grandchildren at home. I don't expect you to be able to teach them. I sympathise with you. They will drive you up the wall. Send them out for a walk or a run or a jumping up and down on the spot, um, unless you're living on a first floor flat, of course, don't get them jumping up and down there. If you can get them to read, to pay, pay attention to all those websites that are out there to help them with maths and or everything and the marvellous BBC resources that are out there, whatever the year group, do that. Do not beat yourselves up. If little Johnny won't do the work, well, little Johnny in the end is going to suffer and we will try and do what we can. We will contact you if the kids aren't joining in the lessons or submitting the work that's needed. Parents, good luck. This could be all the way through to the summer. I know you want to keep your kids safe, so do we. And I really do thank you all, those of you that have thanked us for the work that our teachers are doing. Uh, don't get involved too much with the Zoom lessons. Don't go giving the answers to the teachers. They don't want you that involved. Now to the staff, I know you'd be here if I asked you to be here. I know you volunteered to do the food parcels. You volunteered to, to staff the uh, key workers areas. I know that some of you need to come here for your own sanity because you've got boyfriends or girlfriends in one bedroom flats. I realise that some of you haven't got two computers in your house and have to come to work to do it. You know full well I'm not going to make you work in an unsafe environment. Your attendance this year has broken all records. Your morale has been a, a source of real joy to me and everybody else. You have done everything Steve Walton has asked you to do in terms of masks in lessons, following the one-way system. You've done everything that anybody has asked you to do in providing the best lessons you can. So thank you. Thanks to the kids who are all working well, virtually everywhere. Thanks to the parents who are virtually all 100% in support with us. We are going to do our five hours a day lessons as long as we can. There may be occasions when the teachers ill that isn't going to happen. We are going to run these vocational exams for years 10 to 13 over the next fortnight safely as possible. We are going to feed those students a little bit when they come in for revision sessions. So parents, thank you. Staff, you never signed up for this. Isn't 19, 20, 21 September going to be absolutely astonishing? Because we are going to open the school when it's safe and when the teachers and the teaching assistants have all been vaccinated. So write to your MPs. Schools aren't safe at the moment. Boris Johnson told us they were Sunday morning and then closed them because they weren't on Monday lunchtime. Write to your MP saying stick the uh, teachers and the teaching assistants a little bit further up, then vaccinate them and we will be able to open. So thank you very much. Um, I could email you, but you know, this is to me uh, a friendlier way. I'll be in touch every now and again. Smile, stay safe. Be careful with the people around you. Naturally listen to me on East Arts Radio on a Thursday night, 7 to 9. I'm playing some really depressing music. And be nice to your families, your neighbours, and particularly kids. Be nice to your parents. Bye then.